All right, today we're gonna do an iris, which was requested yesterday. And you know what? Might as well do a draw along. You wanna draw with me today? Here we go. So what we're gonna do for this iris is use a repeating stencil to kind of make, uh, give us a sense of a pattern where there might not be one. So, I'm gonna start by making some petals. I've got this fancy uh, rainbow pencil here that I used in Have You Ever Seen a Flower? But any pencil you have will do. I'm actually gonna use both of my specialty pencils. Here's a neon that I used in Have You Ever Seen a Flower as well. Um, but you can even do this with just plain graphite and it looks really cool. Um, all right, so I'm just kind of working on my petals here. Nice and loose. Get a third one up top. Irises have those uh, kind of like unruly lion's heads. So let's see if we can capture a little bit of that. The stencils allow me to make really kind of precise shapes while I get to be really loose with my lines, which I like. It always ends up in something of a surprise. That's nice, right? Okay, now uh, I don't want to go completely around because that's going to start to look like a daisy. So I've got an idea of, what, of how we can make this, uh, this kind of bottom lip of the iris. We're going to only color half of our stencil right here. We're still using the same stencil. It's going to give us that repeating shape. It's going to look pleasing, the repetition. All right, I did half there, and I'm going over here, and I'm just going to use half of my stencil here. Just for the curve on that side. And again, I forgot my neon over on that side, that's okay. Here we go. We've got this kind of like fat bottom uh, jowl of the, of the iris, and then I'm going to go ahead and just use that line right there to make a bottom edge so that I still have a neat edge at the bottom. Sometimes when you're uh, working over using just paper stencils like this, the paper wants, you know, you're kind of fighting against the paper. Um, you get a feel, you get a feel for when you're gonna rip the paper or not. Um, and if you do, it's okay. Let's see, here we go. There's that bottom jowl of the iris. Boom, there we go. Move that paper. It looks nice. It looks kind of like a bear paw as well. So let's go out and give this two more petals. The irises have those kind of like droopy side petals too. Um, I'm gonna use, again, part of the shape, but not the whole thing. Like this. And come back to that. And on the other side, get it kind of symmetrical here. Part of that shape right there. On the other side. Again, keeping it nice and loose, letting our shapes be our perfectionist, letting the stencil be the perfectionist, and we just get to zone out and scribble. And then I'm gonna use the top to kind of connect this drooping petal over here. Let's see, Let's see what that looks like. Always a surprise because the stencil kind of blocks part of our progress here. So we can't entirely see what it is we're up to. You just kind of get the concept and do it. Pull the stencil away and uh, see if it worked. And if you initially don't think it worked, if you initially had that feeling of I want to start over, give it a minute, keep working on it because you might be surprised later on. Um, that something that you that initially didn't look exactly like you planned actually ends up being an asset to the drawing later on. I just went ahead and connected that a little bit, and this is looking pretty nice. I think I'm just just about to leave it alone, but I think I'm going to give it a little bit of a stalk here. Um, yeah, let's go for it. I am going to use my blue here. And watch, I'm not gonna go all the way up to the edge. I'm gonna give that flower just a little 
little space there. And I'm gonna use my rainbow pencil as well to give it some surprising tones. And look, the yellow actually even came out with the rainbow pencil, but I'm gonna give it one more pass of yellow over the blue to of course make this rich green. I think I'm done. There it is. And now the last thing we do, obviously, we sign our work. So go ahead. And we're done.